Today, we're going to be covering batch editing in Adobe Photoshop. Batch editing is essentially editing photos in bulk. It's a method to edit a high volume of assets to make them all visually and aesthetically consistent that uses very little effort and time. This is particularly useful if you have a selection of imagery that needs to be united under a common look or brand. For example, say you need to prepare a catalog of content for an Instagram page or a magazine or maybe even a blog. Batch editing can help you create a cohesive identity across all your photos in just a few clicks. This saves you having to go through every photo individually and editing them one by one, which will be very time consuming. Batch editing in Photoshop is not only fast, it's also extremely easy. On top of that, Photoshop's editing capabilities mean you can create some really unique and custom photo treatments that you won't find across any other software or stock filter library. This will really elevate the look and feel of your brand, giving it that premium look. In this video, we'll go through all the steps you'll need to batch edit, starting with setting up your files for your workflow. Then we'll talk about actions and sets and how to use them. Do some light photo editing and then move on to applying edits onto multiple photos via Photoshop's batch export capability. Before we even open Photoshop, let's get our folder structures ready. The reason we do this step is because Photoshop references your computer's file directory in order to automate the editing process. For today, I have all these photos of Hong Kong that I want to edit. I'm a huge fan of Wong Kar Wai's films and his cinematography. His films all have these beautiful green tints and red tints to them, and they really capture the romance of this city. Today, we're going to emulate the look and feel of his movies using Photoshop's batch editing capabilities. You're going to want to make two folders. The first is where all your initial images are going to be stored. Let's just call this folder Original Photos and drag in all the photos you're going to need for this session. The second folder is where all your edited photos are going to be saved out. Let's call this Edited Photos. Great, now we're ready to play with Photoshop. Go ahead and open just one of your photos in Photoshop. Now it's time to introduce you to a little thing called Actions which is the backbone to batch editing. Actions are, essentially, a recording of the steps you take during your time in Photoshop that can be saved and then reapplied across any image you like. Instead of having to do the same edits repeatedly, you only have to do them once. Using Actions, Photoshop remembers all your finicky edits and turns them into a one-click operation, saving ourselves valuable time. To access Actions, navigate to the menu bar at the top and go to Windows, Actions. You'll see the action panels pop up on the right hand side, which looks something like this. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a new set, which is a fancy word for folder. As you get more familiar with using Actions, you'll invariably create more and more, and it can get quite disorganized. Sets are a simple and efficient way to manage our actions into project relevant folders as to keep our workflow clean. To make a new set, press on the folder icon at the bottom of the actions panel, which will prompt you with a dialog box to name the set. Let's just call this Hong Kong photo filter for now. We can then proceed into making an action. Press on the plus icon on the action panel next to the set icon and you're going to again get a dialog box prompting you to name the action. Let's call this one Green Film Filter, since I'm going to be editing a green filmic look on these photos. When you finish naming it, press record. Now here's where the screen recording element that I mentioned before comes into play. Photoshop now records every action you're doing and will note it down. Every time you edit a property, it will be recorded in the action log, so it can be repeated later during the batch export process. So now let's have some fun. For this filter, I use the options in the adjustments panel to edit photos. First, I'm going to use color balance to add some green tints into our photo. I also adjusted the brightness and contrast to give some impact to our photos, 
and edited our curves to blow out some of the blacks. For the final edit to push this over the line, I'm going to use filter, noise, add noise to add some photo finish grain to our image. If at any point you don't want what you're doing recorded in the action, press the stop button, the little square, at the bottom of the actions panel. This will stop the recording and you're free to do whatever you like. When you're wanting to record again, press the record button, the circle, and it'll continue recording again. When you're happy with your edit, it's time to save the file. Go to File, Save As, and then Save as a usable image file type, like PNG or JPEG. Let's select PNG. Now that you're done, press the Stop button on the Actions panel, the square, to end the screen recording. With the action done and dusted, it's time to apply the edits to all our photos in the batch export. Go to File, Automate, Batch. A dialog box is going to pop up. Under the Play section, we're going to select our set Hong Kong Photo Filter and then our Action Green Film Filter. Under Source, we're going to select Folder and then we're going to select the folder with all our photos, named Original Photos. Now, on Destinations, select the folder these will all be saved into, which is our Edited Photos folder. Make sure to tick Override Actions Save as Commands so you don't have to sit through a million pop-ups asking if you want to save things. Finally, let's fill out the file naming section. Let's keep the first field as is. Then for the second field, let's put underscore green film. And then for the third field, put extension slash extension. Always make sure that the last field has extension slash extension selected, otherwise you'll end up with unusable files. Press OK and you're done. Check your edited photos folder for the results and you'll see all your photos now all have that beautiful green film effect, creating a real cohesive look. Batch editing in Photoshop is a very simple and very efficient way to edit your photos and I can't wait to see what you guys make with this new skill.